Yo, Steve, what are you doing? Looks like you're daydreaming. I am. I'm looking at eBay, thinking about what I should do today. What's there to think about? We're going to the bins and we're going thrifting. Every time we go, we're finding amazing stuff and we're making good money. Very true. You're right. That is a point. I guess we could do that. You're lucky you have New York Steve to push Florida Steve. If it was up to you, you'd be sitting out back at the pool yeah, looking yeah. at the iguanas. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. But I understand. I guess we could go. Alright then. Get ready and let's get going. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So I listen to New York Steve and I'm thrifting. So we're starting at the bins. We're going to spend about an hour and a half here and see what we can find. Then we might go to the regular Goodwill and one local thrift store and see if we can make a solid day and make some money. So let's get inside and see what we can find today. So when I was looking through the bins that has the shoes and the bags, I spotted this red bag with a Ferrari label on it. You know, the tags say Ferrari. There was a Ferrari backpack. I thought I had found a nice one. But then as you'll see here, it has this huge tear right down the edging of the zipper. Now it possibly could be sewn, but that's a little bit too much work. So... That one had to stay in the bins. It's too bad. So here I was continuing to look through the shoe and bags. Um, hard to find good shoes here. If anything, I usually find cycling shoes, cowboy boots, winter boots. That stuff is in touch, but sneakers go pretty quick and rarely ever find good ones here. Golf shoes also, as you'll see right here, there is a pair of golf shoes in there. They, I believe they were foot joys. The bottoms were really good condition, but the tops were pretty dumb, dirty and beat up. So it was gonna be a pass on those. Now we're outside of the regular Goodwill. Gotta kinda change my mentality. This place is way more expensive than obviously going to the bins. So we're gonna look at the shoes, the bags, a little bit of hard goods, be very picky, and um, you know, find something that's gonna sell for a good solid amount of money, because we are gonna pay up in this store like this. So that's one thing, always be flexible with your sourcing. So let's go in and see what they got. So surprisingly, there was no new bins out. So I went and looked at the shoe section and I found nothing. This is the only toy shelf, that first row. And then there's like four shelves of all plush. So that's only toys right there. And then those are all plush and I don't really mess with those. Then I went over and I looked at the bag section. And once again, there was nothing. This is the first time I had been in the store in over a week. It just hasn't been good lately. That's why I kind of stopped going. Looked at the little bit of hats they had, and there was nothing. Then, just for the heck of it, I went and looked at the bathing suits. And I did find here in the corner um, a pair of Volcom hybrids, which you've shown, which I've shown before. And they sell for like 15 to 18 bucks, but they want six dollars, so that's a pass. All right, that is why I do not go into this Google too often anymore. They rearranged the place, and then surprisingly, there was no carts. Usually the carts are always sitting right outside like the door that comes in from the back room. Had two sales come in while I was in there. That was cool. Another one of those, if you saw my other videos, the Junior Park Ranger badges that I picked up on that hat like a week ago. And oddly enough, they both came in exactly 10.31 a.m. So I had two separate sales, two different buyers, same exact time. That's strange. And I sold a pair of Nautica khaki pants. So not bad. It's 10.30 gonna head over to the local stop that has one dollar all clothing and see if we could do any better than this over there
Thank you, ma'am. So this store, I kind of just do an up and down of every aisle, hit all the sections except for the furniture. So I go right to the men's pants first. Now look at the length of this aisle. Got some jackets and then from here down, those are all dress pants and khakis, all the way down. And then they only have a few jeans. They used to have a lot more, which I used to get a lot of. But took a quick look here at the jeans and ended up found in a pair of two. These were some Tommy Bahama jeans that I found. And then right next to them, I found a pair of Armani J21 jeans. Neither pairs are big sellers, but probably in the mid 20s or so. And at a dollar, that's okay with me. So I went up and down every aisle, hard goods, sporting goods, some very small toy section that they sometimes have. And I really didn't find anything much found this pair of bathing suits and took everything I found and went to the back corner and then give everything a once over. Make sure there's no stains, no rips, and then I will cop anything that I need to at that point to be sure I want to pick it up. And a few of these things I did put back. All right, so I already pulled three pieces of clothing out of there. Kind of a slower day, but I'm gonna show it anyway because that's how it goes and that's the reality of thrifting. If you only show amazing whole days, you know, people get the wrong impressions. So I gotta keep it real. So on Nextdoor website, it's like a community bulletin board type thing. Someone put a question about who has the best subs in the area, you know, like sandwiches. And a bunch of people suggested places and I've never been to any of them and I've lived here for 20 years. So next stop, I'm gonna go by and I'm gonna try one of the places everybody was saying is the best. It's like a deli sized bakery and see how good it is. All right, before we go through everything, I gotta eat lunch. Gotta rehydrate, nice glass of water, and I got my sandwich. Let's take a look. I don't know if you're interested in food or not, but this is a good thing for me. I'm gonna find a good sandwich. Presentation wise, it looks good. It's roast beef, turkey, provolone, lettuce, tomato, and a tiny bit of mayo. I will say they don't give you a lot of meat. That's typical with a lot of places nowadays. The bread is what makes the sandwich, so let's see if it's good. All right, so lunch is over. Sandwich, good. As a New Yorker, we're used to like a tougher bread, like a nice French bread that has like a little bit of a crusty outside, soft inside. And their bread was more on the soft side all the way through, and bread makes the sandwich basically. But it was good, no complaints. So. You probably don't even care, but anyway. <laughs> um, the bins, the Goodwill, and the local thrift. Only got a few things at the bins. Zero at Goodwill, and only a few things at the other stop. So, this is what a slow day of thrifting looks like. Let's see if I can still make some money. Alright, I found a pair of SAS San Antonio shoes. Tripad Comfort. Soft Step. Just a lace-up men's shoe. Found a pair of these in a different style colorway. More of a brown. These are like burgundy. I found those a couple days ago. And these are in really good condition as well. So these go by weight. It's called at like two dollars. Two fifty. And these and I'll show you a comp on the screen. These could be twenty to thirty bucks. Found these O'Neill board shorts. Hyper Freak. It's got this sewn on spell out O'Neill. Another good brand of board shorts. And these could be like, depends, 15 bucks they'll go right away. You know, 20 they'll take a little bit. And then, unbelievably, found another tie. I know I said I don't do a lot of ties. But I have found a few in the past few days. Those bow ties, I already sold the first lot of two for 22 bucks that I found last time. And I know you saw that shirt I sold for 150 bucks. Here's the brand, found it again. Stefano Ricci. Right there. That men's dress shirt by hand sold for 150 bucks. 
This is just a silk tie. And this should go, well I'll show you comps, but the ties can go anywhere from 20 bucks up to 50, 60, 70 used. So I'm just going to call it like 30s. And sadly, that is all I got at the bins today. Three items, shoes, shorts, and a tie. I didn't really go hard into the bins. My shoulder, even someone else was complaining about the other day, this guy, from digging through the piles of clothes constantly every day. My shoulder, and I had a headache again yesterday, so kind of took it easy today. But it came out to two pounds was my receipt, which cost me, with tax, $3.75. So, not a big day, but even if I make 20, 30, I could still make like 50, 60 bucks easy right there from three bucks. Then I went to Goodwill, got nothing out of there, and here's what I got at the third stop. All right, third stop, all clothing is a dollar. I found these board shorts. The brand is The Kind. It's a Hawaiian brand. They sell decent. These will probably go. Um, this line is called Plate Lunch. There was only one sole comp, but someone took a best offer. And they had it listed at 39 So I would assume they wouldn't have dropped too much, maybe in the 20s or 30 bucks. A pair of Armani jeans. It's right there, AJ Armani jeans. Got the metal eagle right there. And I found these recently too. These are the J21 regulars, 34 by 32. And you'll see this comps on the screen. Just a pair of Tommy Bahama denim jeans. Tommy Bahama. It's got the spell out on the label. And these are just standard straight legs called. So I spent $6.96 altogether. And I figured to make a little over 100 bucks on all that after everything. Of course, I've been getting such great hauls that the law of averages is going to kick in. And you're going to have a bad, slow day, whatever be the case. So this was due. So all that means is coming up, I got a great day. So I got a few things I got to pack up. My mailman came early today, and I missed him. I didn't have the stuff packed up, so I'm going to pack it up now, and then I'm going to bring it to the post office when I pick up my son. So let me show you what I got going out today. So only a few things. All right, I got a one, two, I got four items going out. I don't know if you can hear the rain. It started pouring rain right now. The power is flickering, so the lights might go out. So first one going out, just a pair of green khaki men's pants from Nordica. Sold for $15.75 plus eight shipping. Go into a clear poly bag, and they're just over a pound, and I did charge eight shipping, so they're going to a padded flat rate. Next item going out is the Pittsburgh Steelers t-shirt. Had this since last year. Sold for $11.95 plus shipping. And again, suffocation bag, 9 by 12 vinyl mailer. First class because it's under a pound. Next item up, as I talked about earlier. This one is the Grand Canyon. I had 11 of these, and I've already sold one for like 12 change. And this one was the best out of the whole lot, and this sold for $24.75 plus shipping. And for this, I'm going to wrap it in one square bubble wrap and put it in a 6x9 bubble mailer. And the last item I got to pack up is this Masonic Temple Bible. Printed in 1968. And this sold for, my old eyes can't see anymore, $22.75 plus $3 shipping. And I will put it into a suffocation bag. And I will put it into an eBay padded envelope. Sideways, fold it in half to double it up. And it's good to go. And this will be media mail. Alright, so I got four items in total going out right now. It's two in the afternoon. The Bible was from last night. And three are from... While I was out thrifting. Total of $75.20 in sales. My buy cost was a dollar for the Bible to 10 cents for the pin. Because I got 11 of them for a dollar. A dollar for the pants. And the t-shirt was from the bins, probably 50 cents. One, two, 200, 
$2.60 cost into 75 in sales from just four items. No heavy packing, no big shipping, nice easy stack, done. Now, I got an offer pending, I don't even look at it, on Poshmark for a pair of diesel jeans that I just listed the other day, the gray ones, I think they were my last video. I have them listed at 47 there wasn't really any good comps to go exact, and they offered 30 hmm. Do I take it? Do I counter? I got these at the, these came from the bins last week. So let's say I paid two bucks for them. If I take the offer of 30, earnings of $24 minus my cost, so I'll make 22 bucks. I could counter and lose them, and they could sit, because some jeans do, but they are diesels. You know what? If I'm gonna make 22 bucks in a couple of days, I'm just gonna take it. I'm not even gonna play games. All right, so that's the end of this one. You know how this goes now. I'm going to photograph everything I got today, and then later on tonight, I'll list it. And then tomorrow, I will repeat the process. Back to the bins to wear out my shoulders some more because it's killing me. But anyway, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.